Good morning and welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group exercise. So nice of you to join us this morning. We're going to be exercising for about the next 45 minutes. You'll need a straight back chair without arms, a tennis ball, a light pair of hand weights, and a larger ball. And we'll get started. We're going to start with a warm up and end with a cool down. And um, I ask that you sit forward in the chair with your feet flat on the floor, about hip width apart, sitting tall and away from the back of the chair. Take a deep breath through your nose and out slowly through your mouth. Again, inhale, hold it, and let it out. One more. Exhale. Drop your chin to your chest, pressing the shoulders down. And then lift the head, looking forward, tilt it to the side. Good. And center, this time looking up, the mouth open slightly. Again, center and to the other shoulder. <laughs> Center and down. Stretching. Circle the head. Good. And the other way. Again, it drops forward, the chin to the chest, and up. Remember the mouth opens slightly. And center and to the side, turning just the head. Drop the chin and nod at your neighbor. <laughs> and to the other side, nod at your neighbor, the chin up, down, good. Looking forward again, roll the shoulders, oh yeah, and reverse that, perfect. And it's up, down, up, down, two more, and there, good. Sitting tall, engage that area, that core area, and extend the arms, relaxing the shoulders. Move the finger. Type me a letter. Yeah. I know. What's a typewriter? <laughs> extend the fingers out, tapping finger to thumb. Yeah. Work in each finger. Good. And then extend them out. Scratch. One, two, three. Four, one more. Five. Now make a fist and squeeze and stretch and two and stretch and three, three. Four. four, one more. Five, squeeze hard uh, and relax. The fingers again out, sitting tall with good posture. Roll the wrist. Yeah, those arms are getting heavy, I know. Four, five, reverse it. Five, four, three, two, one, and there. Just like you had a ledge and you're just going to rest it there. Your shoulders relaxed and down and small circles. Wish you had a ledge there, right? <laughs> Reverse the arm circle, making it a little larger. Good. And again, change the direction. It's that full range of motion that you want. And keep them straight up. Reverse the big circle. Good job. And now keep them overhead, pulled back as far as you can, and the palms of your hands facing each other, reaching for that ceiling, alternating sides, two, and let's hear it. Three, All right three, then, four, three, one more, five. five, and then the arms again come to the side, flex the hands, bring it to the shoulder and push out and in and out and in and three, Four, last one, five. They come down, they rest on the chair for that stretch. Yeah. And then twist to look down. Again, looking out and open. Same thing on this side. Oh, I just want to yawn. <laughs> and then I look down and then out and open. They're now crossed. Twist as far as you can to the side and hold. Two, three, four. Five. Let's take it to the other side and hold. Two, three, four, five. Again, center, placing the hands on what's left of that chair. And then shift the weight, the opposite hip lifts up and up. Good. Two, three, 
Good job. Four. One more. Five. And there. And we are just going to come right back to that position. Drop the arms and walk. Lifting the knees. I know. Are we there yet? <laughs> Good. Lift it up. And if you put your hands right here, you'll feel that core working. Otherwise, you'd just be slumped. So you want to pull up, sit tall. Yeah. A little faster. Run. <laughs> Good job. Bring it back to that position. Slow it down a little bit. And right there. Yeah. Okay. The fun begins now. So reach down and grab the free weights that you've chosen. I have old school today. I have, I have metal ones. Yeah. Pink rubs. I'm going to be careful of that. So sitting tall, the fingers are wrapped, the elbows tucked. They rest on, on your thighs. That's our, our workbench for the day. So sit tall. You're going to lift it up, starting with a bicep curl to the shoulder and down. Two. Yes. Three. Just as much a part of this exercise class as the vocalizing, your voice. Seven. Perfect. Eight. Nine. Ten. And down. Between the two sets of 10 reps, take a break and stretch. Again, sit tall. Yeah, find something to look at, at least eye level. Lift it up and curl. One, two, yes, three, you got it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And we're going to keep them in our hands dropping those arms to the side of your chair and we're going to rotate those arms forward shoulders coming in and to the back stretching the chest pinching the shoulder blades together perfect again this neutral position lift one the elbow tucked it's a side stretch it's a lateral stretch all the way where is the floor there it is okay and come up changing to the other side working the waistline Good. And there. And we're going to place them on the floor just briefly. We'll pick them up again. But our, bring our feet and knees together in a closed position. How much space do I have behind me? About that much. So I could still lean back a little bit. I'm not touching. Yeah. So arms crossed, extend out, looking forward, not down. Lift them up. We're going to flex point, flex point, pull them back. Four, thank you. Five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. So you end up with a flex foot. Toes together, heels out, in. Really stretch it out. Three, four, last one, five. Heels touch, toes out. Two, good job. Three, four, five. And there, separate them and bring it right back into this position. Forward, maybe an inch. Extend. I love this floor because it has lines on it. So I'm just going to follow that line, trying to keep the sole of my shoe on the floor and maintain a straight leg. The hands here reach up and over with a flat back, reaching for that foot. Working always within your range of motion. Don't don't force anything. Your range of flexibility and come up. Good. This time flex the foot. Again, reaching for it, but we start with a rounded back. The chin tucked to the chest. You're reaching and then at that last minute, kind of lengthen the spine and you'll feel it in your hamstring. Yes. Yes, you did. And bring it in. The other leg extends. Hands by the knee. Reach. Press into the stretch, beautiful, good. And up, flexed foot, toes up, round the back. Again, reach for the foot, tuck the chin to the chest. That last minute, you're gonna lengthen it and kind of scoop forward. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, I know you felt that. All right, <laughs> yes, it is. interesting. All right, back to this position, the shoulders, the hips, knees, they're in line. And we're gonna reach for just one. Wrapping the fingers around it, 
bring that one weight to the shoulder. We're going to work on some triceps. So straight up. I imagine there's a wall on the outside of the shoulder. So um, you'll see why. So we're going to drop it to the back. Support it only if it needs it with the other hand. Extend and lower. Good. Chin off your chest. Looking forward. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Seven, I feel it, Nancy. Eight, <laughs> nine, ten, and down. And sometimes I, I get asked what weight I use, and I've been using threes, and so today I grabbed a five, and I can really feel that, that slight difference. So um, try out more than a bicep curl when you're deciding what weight. So we're going to use the same hand, and it's going to go over the head, and it's up. Yes, and you feel that right there. Don't go past the shoulder because that wall is there. <laughs> you feel that right there? I'm going with six, seven, I don't know what it is. Eight, nine, ten. Lower down, place it, it in the other hand. Sitting tall, bring it to the shoulder. It drops to the back and the elbow points up. Extend it, drop it. Two, you feel that, Kurt? Three, be careful. Four, five, six. I'm already impressed with you. Don't hurt yourself. Eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Yes. If something is, is um, hurting you, don't continue to do it. Let me know about it. If it's just a difficult situation, my comment is usually work through it. <laughs> yeah, all right. That doesn't count. So sit tall again. We're going to extend it. Drop it over the head. And it's up. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Freeze. Now, beautiful, Nancy. You want that straight arm, not a locked elbow, but straight up. Perfect. And three more. Eight. Nine. 10. Super. Drop it and place it down underneath your chair. And we're going to come forward a little bit more, removing some more of that leg off of the seat, extending one leg just a little bit. It's still a bend in the, in the knee. The arms are dropped and you're sitting tall in the chair. We're just going to tap. Yeah, lift the foot pretty high, just a nice tap. And then a little faster tap. And then just as fast as you can, for as long as you can. Working to fatigue the front part of that leg. Yeah. And it happens pretty fast. <laughs> All right, right about now. <laughs> okay, great job. Bring it in, the other leg, same thing. Out a bit, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then a little faster. Again, sitting tall, looking forward, fast as you can. Very nice. Now, this leg never wants to cooperate very much, but you got it. Super job. All right. And you should feel that right there. We're back into a starting position. Maybe scoot back into the chair a little bit. And our hands are here. Focus. When I say look at something in front of you, it's about eye level or just above. And we're going to spread the fingers of one hand, reaching diagonally across and as high as you can. Stay seated on the chair. Good. And to the other side, reach out of that rib cage. And now we're going to shoot it right across. Good. And spread the fingers. Perfect. Diagonally down to the opposite foot, the outside of it, palms facing outward. Good. And there. Shoot that arrow across. And there. And up just as high as you can. Perfect. And stretch. Yeah. You have muscles in between those rib cages, so you want to stretch them a little bit. We've gone from this position. We've had a closed position. We're going to open it wide within your range. So find that range by shifting your weight a little bit. You want to make sure that the knees are over the foot and the arms are out. And one hand here, just for support, and the other one straight up. You're going to twist. As you reach for the ceiling, look up. 
The other one reaching for the floor, the inside of that ankle. Nice job. Slowly return to center. Working the obliques again, working that waistline. Good. And there. The arms drop down and the feet, they walk back. Heel, toe, heel, toe into a closed position. Knees touching if you can, sitting tall. Those arms now crossed, the weight forward. Sure, I could do that if I did this, but I want a nice flat back, transferring a little weight over those thighs as you press on the outside of the foot, feeling it in your ankle and your hip. And come on up, good job. Again, transfer the weight and press. Perfect. And up. And we're going to separate that right back into that position. Grabbing both weights for what is called an overhead. So fingers are wrapped in a soft but a firm grip. The weight's brought to the shoulder straight up. One, help me count. Two, thank you. Three, ha, four, yeah, five. Use your outdoor voice. <laughs> Seven, eight. Nine, ten, beautiful, and down. And um, between the, the sets, it's not very long, but you know, stretch out the fingers. Yeah, shake it out. All right, We've got one more, same thing. Sit tall, and it's up. Good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, eight, nine. 10 and down, all right. And on the floor it goes. We're gonna turn just a little bit in their chair. And in this position, you should have the front chair leg in between your feet, the feet still hip width apart, the hand close to the frame of the back, hold on, extending this, trying to straighten it out. So you've got a straight leg from hip to toe, and you wanna reach. You're holding on so you can really stretch for that wall. Grab the imaginary rope and bring it towards you, tucking the chin to the chest. Nice job, and stretch it out. Good, and pull it in. Tuck it up. And we've got two more on this side, so for no other reason, just to see how they do on over here. So, <laughs> all right, your feet straddle the front chair leg, hold on as you reach. Yes, outside arm and leg, you got it, perfect. And bring it in, round it up. And again, reach and curl it up and sit up, very nice. And we're back into Back into this position, but actually a little wider. We're going to do one that um, we, we took, I took, from a John Argue tape, and it's called Picking Up the Baby. So we want to open a little bit, not quite as wide as it was, but here. And you imagine there are two, two baby, twins on there, on the floor. So you want to reach forward there but we're gonna start in a position that's nice and upright. Thumbs up, fingers together, okay. And reach and separate the hands and place one under the head and under her bottom and gently pick up that baby, bringing it closer and closer and closer to your chest. Good, all right, there. Boom, reach down, separate the hands, pick up the other twin, carefully closer to you, closer, good. And as he says, tuck her into your heart. Yeah, Mwah. give her a kiss. All right, walk those feet back, heel, toe, heel, toe, back into this position. Sitting tall, the arms are out, fingers spread apart, close it, open, close, open, three, Four, five, keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you end up in this position where we're going to just curl those joints and then make a really tight fist, drop the wrist, good, and then lift it up, slowly open. Yeah. 
for some finger presses. Press. Don't flick those nails off. <laughs> Press hard. Yes. Forming a circle with each finger and thumb connection. Boom. All right. One of my least favorites we're going to do today. So we isolate these fingers and thumbs. So thumbs up, then the finger, and then the next finger, then the next finger, and there, that's the whole thing. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right. The next one is going to be kind of strange. So here, and then here. So there, there. One is facing you, the other isn't. Thumb and little finger connect, and the elbows rotate out on this one. So connect them. Yes. And you end up like this. Perfect. And then walk it back. Try the other one. Push it away, and this one will face Elbows start to open to the side. Open, open, open. So you end up with your elbows lifted because these are rotating. And I told you it was a weird one. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh huh, it does. Yes. All right, here, sitting tall, elbows lifted. We're going to bring those to the front, connect everything and then open up and push back. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Again, fingers spread apart. You want to connect it, and then there, stretch it. Yeah, all right. One, just resting on the head, looking forward. You're going to gently pull it to the side. And then the other side, pull it. Yeah, good, good stretch. How far away am I? Same distance. I've got about that much between my back and the back of the chair. The hands resting on the seat this time. Our feet should be in that nice wide position for a chair lift. And you want to come forward with this, lifting yourself off the seat and down for 10. Two. Good. Three. Hands braced on that chair. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven, upper body strength, eight, nine, ten, and down. Now bring it in a closed position. Feet touch, knees touch, and we're going to go out a little bit further. Hold on this time. Sit tall in the chair. Lean back a little bit as you bring the knees to the chest and down. Up, back, two, yes, three, four. Five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And we're going to do two more in that same position with a slight modification. So we're going to turn, sitting tall in the chair, feet and knees together, hold on. Your focus is going to be forward, but Nancy, we're going to kick to the back. And that means you're going to work your waistline. So it's here and down, two. Good. Three, looking forward. Four, five, six, looking forward to when we're done. <laughs> Eight, nine, excellent. Ten, good. And you can feel where that works your waistline. So we're going to turn, sitting tall in the chair, eyes off the floor, feet and knees together, lift it up and kick back there and down. So think of your ankles tied together. Four, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Woo! <laughs> All right, back into our starting position. Grab the weights, and um, we're going to put them close to the knee, an open hand resting on top. So feet apart. We're going to work our hips and core on this one. So lift it up, extend it out, bend and drop, shifting the weight to the other side. It's up, out, in, down, two, out, in, down, up, out, good, three, out. This is everyone's favorite. Up, out, in, down, four, out, in, 
down, up, out, in, last one, five, out, in, down, lift, extend, bend, and drop. And as you catch your breath, I'll explain what the next five are. So sitting tall, we're going to lift it and just hold it. So focus forward, lift it up and hold, two, three, four, five, and touch, same leg, up and hold, two, three, four, five, and touch, and up, two, three, four, five, two more, and up, two, three, four, five, and last one, up, two, three, four, five, and down. It's wide, so the weight just shifts a little to that side, and this one is up, and hold, two, and touch and lift, two, three, four, five, and tap, and up, two, three, four, five, and four, two, we're gaining on it, and last one, up, two, three, four, five, and yes, I can feel the two pound difference, <laughs> all right, so place the weights, if you would, on the floor underneath your chair, um, keep forward in the seat, but we're going to replace those with a tennis ball. So if you're at home, time to grab that. Think of your posture as you sit tall, and we're going to warm up our hands and our feet. So roll it. Yeah, roll it. And then stretch those fingers, and you want to work that ball in between. Yeah. I don't have to tell you, with Parkinson's, you get very stiff, and this helps. So something like this every day would be a good thing to do. All right, that soft fist. Give it enough surface so that ball will just sit there. Close your eyes, and I don't know, draw whatever you want to draw in the air keeping that ball perfectly balanced. Good. Carefully transfer it to the other hand. Y'all better be doing this too. I have my eyes closed. Are you? <laughs> yes, I hope so. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed, your arms extended a bit, and transfer that ball from hand to hand. Good job. All right, open your eyes. And the ball now on the floor, the foot rests on top. Push down on it and roll back and forth. Yeah. And then the other foot. Push down and roll it back and forth. Good. All right. Grab the ball. I don't know where it goes at home, but here we're going to put it back in our chair and we're going to squeeze back into the seat. Bringing the feet behind the knees, engaging the core. If you took your hand and put it back there, press against it. Yeah, push. Don't just sit into the chair. That's not good enough. You have to, you have to press, engaging that core. And then the hands now on your hips, arch the back. And then again, press into it, good. And then create that opening, and then press into it one more time. Stretch and press, and keep pressing against the back. Extend the legs, they lift up, and it's a circle. Two, three, four, five. Let's go the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. The feet, they hit the floor, still wide, and pull them back, sit tall. Shifting weight from right to left. Walk yourself out to the very, very edge. The feet glued to the floor. Let's do arms overhead. And again, palms of your hands, because this is how they, they rest when they're down to the side. So we're just going to bring them up. All right, shoulders down and lean back. Don't touch. These chairs are equipped with a little buzzer. And if you touch, bzzz, I know. It's actually an electrical shock. Electrical shock. Ah! <laughs> and up. And lean back and hold. And up. Now this last one we're going to hold a little longer. So one, 
two, three, four, five. Super. Sit tall. Place those hands on your thighs as you transfer the weight forward. Looking down at the floor, up on one foot, then the other. Drop the first heel and it's up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Really press into it. We got one more. Right. Up, up, down, down. Just the heels. Up, down, lift them up high, and one more. This is a preparation for a sit to stand. Sitting tall, transferring the weight, nose over toes, the weight shifts forward, beautiful. Bend and back into it. Shift the weight and come up. Bend, placing the weight in the heel, good. Shift and up, bend and down. One more, shift and up and back into it. Good. Don't mess with the feet. Keep them right there. Fingers spread apart, placed on the neck, the elbows extended. Yeah, stretch that chest. Twist side to side. This is a warm up for a seated crunch. As you twist, lift knee to opposite elbow and touch. Good. Two and up. Three and up. Four. Five. Keep going. Six, good, we're halfway, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, grab the big ball, please. If you had to get out of the chair like I did, make sure that when you come back, you've got that space there again. And your feet flat on the floor, sitting tall in the chair. Place it right there. The elbows, they're down, they're relaxed. Extend the arms. Don't lock them, but they're out. As we do a forward reach, transferring the weight over your thighs, over the floor, and reach for it. Place the head in between the arms and hold. And lift the head and come up. Arms extended overhead this time. And lean back. Ooh. Good job. And up. Drop it, track it this time as you twist. Keep going that back arm a little further, good. Center and to the other side and hold. And there. We're gonna place the ball in between our thighs, hands on top and the feet in a closed position. Pull up, sit tall and squeeze as hard as you can. Continue breathing though. <laughs> Breathing's always good. And relax. <laughs> Again, squeeze hard. Good. Mine are shaking. Are yours? Yes, good. And relax. Super. Hold on to the ball. Separate your feet. Yeah, most of these exercises you want to do to fatigue. Yeah, so that's a good thing. I'm a little close to the edge, so I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. Placing the ball on the floor between my feet. Hold on to it. You've got to find that place. Still allow that space behind you, all right? And the arms, they're going to be crossed over the chest. Extend the legs. Whoops. Hold on to the ball, and it's up, down. Good, Nancy. Three, four, five, six. Seven, yes, eight, nice, nine, ten. Stay up there and circle for five, four, three, two, one. Let's go the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. And down. Hold on to it, but bring it back into that sit to stand position. Grab the ball, and we're going to come out of the chair. Everything else is underneath as you shift the weight and up perfect and my ball i'm just going to put it on the on the seat of the chair everything else so out of my way otherwise it becomes a nice trip hazard so behind the chair arms distance from it yeah right there if you're having to reach for it you're transferring your weight and and you've gone from here to here and it really compromises your balance. So you want to stand tall. And if you don't need it, arms are dropped for some ankle raises. Up, down, two, good. 
three. Where are you looking? Four, out in front. Five, good. Six, seven, eight. We're going to hold on ten. Nine, go up and hold. Two, three, four, five. And down. Fingers on the chair. Toe lifts up and up. Good. Three, four, five. I can't do it without holding on. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Super job. And we'll still be behind the chair. I'm just going to turn mine a little bit. So we're here. We're going to take a bow. Fingers here. The weight now a little forward. My entire foot still on the floor, but a lot of my weight is on the ball of the foot. Bend from the hip, flat back, like you're taking a bow. And your focus is on the seat of that chair, stretching. In this position, try to lift the heels. Nice. Good job. Yes. Perfect. And come up. Standing tall with the weight now on one leg, soft knee. This extends to the back. Five straight leg lifts, and they're slow. It's up, down. Two, good. Three, perfect, in fact. Four, last one. Five, bend the front knee, and the heel presses into the floor. Perfect. And come up, bringing that forward a little wide, shifting the weight, and focus, eyes off the floor. It's up, two, three, yes, four, good, five, and bend and sit into that stretch. That's the reward. <laughs> it feels good. And come up. The feet right underneath you, hip width apart. We're going to kick to the back. Don't kick anybody behind you. Alternating sides. Two. Wow, am I tight. Three. Four. One more on each side. Five. Good job. All right. To the side of the chair. That same position. The weight, though, on the inside leg. Use the chair if you need to. We're going to do some marches. So ten on each side. Starting with the outside. Up. Up. Two. Up. Good. Three. And up. Four. I don't hear it. Five, all right, six, yes, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I'm going to turn this down just a bit. I smell pine salt. Do you smell pine salt? Yes. <laughs> all right, we're not going to use the ball, so mine's just going to stay there in that chair. And we're going to start in this position, which is a really good place to just stand, to, as long as you don't lock your knees and eyes off the floor. But we're going to shift all that weight to the inside leg. Use the chair if you need to. We're going to take the outside foot, and, <clears throat> and it's going to be a flexed foot. Rests on the heel, so toes up. And focus. Extend the outside arm. If you feel you can let go of the chair and be safe, extend both. Good job. Drop it down and relax. Shift the weight again to that inside leg. Slide this forward. Ball of the foot. The heel is off the floor this time. It's just it's like you're pointing to something with your foot right there. Again, here and here. Perfect and drop it down and shake it out a little. That's cold, so I'm going to take my leg, pant leg down, shake it out. Transfer the weight again to that inside leg. Slide the outside leg forward. Toes up again. Rest the foot on the heel. Focus. Go slow. You're going to open. Great job. Bring it center and open and center and back down. Shake it out. Shift the weight on the inside. Extend the outside. Ball of the foot touches the floor. Stand tall. The outside arm. And then the next. And open. Good. Perfect. And there. And bring it back. 
and back to this position. Same thing on this side. Somehow we do. I said somehow we do. Oh, <laughs> so I was going to say what? <laughs> yes. Well, we well, otherwise we'd walk out kind of lopsided. So transfer the weight to the inside leg. Slide this forward. It rests on the heel. Eyes out. I'm looking at the exit sign down there. So here. Can't leave till we're done. That's right. We got to finish. Good. And back. Shake it out. Shift the weight to the inside leg. It's now on the ball of the foot only. Here. And here. Good. Perfect. And down. Again. Yeah. If you feel it in your hips or in your knees, it's most likely because you've locked your knees. So make sure that they're straight but soft. Just same thing with your elbows. So shift the weight. Inside leg bears the weight. Slide this forward. Flex it. So it's not really bent, but it's a soft knee. Extend. And out. Open. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Great job. And down. The last one. Shift it. Place the hand. Extend the outside leg. Ball of the foot only. Make sure that heel never touches the floor. Extend. And there. Perfect. Smiles. They're optional during this exercise. All right. And down. Good job. Yeah. Never lock those knees. That's not a good thing. We're going to do some cardio right now. So everything we've used so far, out of your way, under or on top of the chair. And um, make sure that you keep in motion. Uh -huh. And this one, if I can find it. It's a long one again. <laughs> Seems like I, all of them are long. I believe this is called Cowboy Sweetheart. I wondered where you went. Was definitely longer than two minutes. Good job. When you're doing cardio, you should be a little winded, a little out of breath. I think we were. Do you know how to yodel? No. I don't either. I fake it. <laughs> fake it till you make it. All right. Back into the chair, back into that starting position with your favorite weight in hand. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, wrap them, sit tall, straight up. If your shoulders are up, press them down, but keep the arms straight as you reach with a flat back forward, drop it, reach and up, good. Two, down, out, up, 
reach for it, three, up, four, flat back, yes, five, down, out, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, good job, nine, this is it, make it perfect, reach, drop, extend, and up, perfect, all right, cool down. Tall. Inhale through the nose and out slowly through the mouth. Again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Chin to the chest, lift the head, listen, relax the jaw, other side, chin to the chest, slow circle, Reverse it. Forward and up. Forward and center. The shoulders forward. Lift them high. Pull them back and pinch those shoulder blades. Good. And down. The other way. Good job. Arms are out. Let them rest. Elbows out. There are little wings. So we're going to bring it in and touch and stretch. Touch. Stretch. Back a bit to unfold them. Soft hands as you rotate the shoulder and arm. One more a big squeeze, tuck the chin, extend those arms out, stretch it, yes, other arm on top, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O, one more time, A-E-I-O, thank you very much for joining us. See you uh, day after tomorrow. Thank you.